So today we're checking out a simple but powerful audio editor and recorder called Wavebox. It's the kind of utility app that can always come in handy for recording and processing audio, especially on an iPhone or iPad, but it also works on a Mac. So for one purchase that costs $6, you can use it on all three Apple platforms. Unfortunately, no Android version, but that's not a surprise at all. So Wavebox is made by developer Luis Rivas, who also made the Koala sampler alternative called Dawnbeat. I covered Dawnbeat in a separate video that I will link down in the description. So after seeing the Dawnbeat video, Louis got in touch with me and offered to sponsor a showcase of Wavebox on the channel. And since the app seems very useful and very well made, I said why not? And let's check out what it can do. So except for the obvious fact that you can load any audio file that you have on your device, you can also import the audio from a video file. You can import the video from, a, from photos or we can record internal sound. So we can sample a drum break from YouTube, for example, and try to beef it up with the Wavebox effects. So I hit record internal, tap this icon to start recording, go to my YouTube app, Okay, that's enough. Now, obviously we can do this with the screen recording feature in iOS, but this is a bit quicker because we can import the audio recording straight into Wavebox. So we hit import recording and here's our waveform. So the UI of Wavebox is very user-friendly, super easy to navigate. We zoom and pan on this upper section of the waveform, left and right. And then on this lower section, we can create our selection. So let's first trim our sample. I want it to start where the tambo ring starts. And so now that we've set our start and end points of the sample, we can just trim it. So we only have the portion that we want. Now these drums are panned slightly to the right, maybe to accommodate other instruments in the recording. This is what they used to do back in the 70s. So we have a bit more sound here on the right. So we want to try to make it mono just to make it a bit more punchy. So we go to actions, channel mixer, and we want to make sure that the left channel is the only one being heard on both the left and the right side. Hit apply. So we have a lot of built-in effects on Wavebox. Let's just try to add some saturation. We go to the saturator. We can also add some compression. And let's maybe do some EQ with the parametric EQ. Boost up the highs a bit. And maybe the lows a bit as well. So we beefed up this sample quite nicely and we can now just save it. File, share, and we can share it directly to Downbeat, which again is the sampling app by the same developer, or we can just save it to our files. And we can also record from the built-in mic on our device. Let's process this clap. We're gonna use the gate to remove the noise. Not sure if that's gonna be audible without headphones, but we've removed some noise that comes from the built-in mic on the iPad. And now we can again saturate it. Maybe EQ it a bit as well. We also have time stretch, so we go to actions, time stretch, and we can change the speed, so the, the tempo and the pitch of, this, of the sample independently, so we can speed it up and pitch it down at the same time. So that gave it a bit of a lo-fi sound. We can change the sample rate to, let's say, 22 kilohertz. So what happens if we pitch this back up with the transpose? I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm not going to go through all the options that it's going to take a lot of time because this is a very, very comprehensive wave editor. So some other cool stuff is the auto slicer, so we can slice samples. We got the actions, so apart from the ones that we just tried, we also have a wave generator, so we can just generate basic waveforms. So this is a very simple way to create bass lines, and we can do a square wave. So we have this simple note that we can use as a bass line. We can also filter it with FX, filter. And on top of all these built-in effects, you can use 
any audio units that you have installed on your device. And Wavebox is really cool for just doing quick recordings on your iPhone, so we can just use it as a field recorder. Field recorder. Field recorder. And we know how good the mics on your on newer iPhones are, so this is a really good option. So it's really cool because it's very fast and easy to record sounds, but you can also process the sounds directly in the app so you don't need to transfer them to another app to process them, to trim them, to beef them up. So it's a really great addition to any other sampler you may be using on your phone. And so if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, pretty much any audio app on your iOS device can be used on the Mac as well. You just need to open the Mac App Store and it will, you'll be able to download the app. And so one interesting thing that I noted is that Wavebox is the top paid app in the photo and video category on the Mac App Store. And so it's pretty much the same on Mac as well with the difference that basically all the features are here in this menu up here. And you can of course use all your audio units that you have on your Mac. You can't use VSTs, but all the audio units are available. So yeah, this was Wavebox, a very handy audio editor and recorder. You can check it out from the link down in the video description and I will catch you in the next one.